Hey guys, what's going on? It's G Martin here for another video. Recently I've been going through Reddit pages and I've been finding a lot of people talking about how bad the DJI Spark is and they've been comparing it to the Mavic Air and the Mavic Pro and the Phantom 4. And while yes this is true, there's a lot more factors you gotta think about this than just comparing it to DJI's more expensive and all around better drones. Currently the DJI Spark is DJI's cheapest drone at the moment and it is also the most user friendly. Today, let's talk about why the DJI Spark is the best drone for beginners and take the most common complaints I can find on Reddit and talk about why this doesn't matter to a beginner drone pilot. Reason number one people think the DJI Spark is the camera. Yes, it does not shoot in 4K. It only shoots in 1080p 30 frames a second which kind of bums me out because I've been flying for a little while. While other drones out there have 4K cameras, they can shoot 4K 60, some even go up to 1080p 120, which allows super smooth slow motion. A beginner is not looking for this. When you're a new drone flyer, 4K really does not matter to you. All you want is a drone that you can fly and get good videos, probably on your phone, so you can show your friends and your family, and you have no need for 4K footage. The only reason you need 4K footage is if you're trying to do some sort of commercial work or professional work, and honestly, that's about it. I don't see another need for 4K. Maybe YouTube, if you have a decently sized channel and you really wanna impress some viewers, but other than that, 1080p looks just fine. I mean, for it honestly does. Okay, reason number two, people talk bad about the DJI Spark is the battery life, and this is kind of expected. Yes, it is true, this drone only gets about 16 minutes of flight time. I wish it was better. That'll maybe come in the future. I'm really hoping it does. That way I can buy the DJI Spark 2. But when you're a beginner and someone tells you 16 minutes of flight time, that's actually kind of nice. My first drone I had only had about eight to 10 minutes of flight time. And as a beginner drone pilot, this was perfect for me. I did not need more than this. I would fly it for that amount of time. And then when I got bored, I would pack it up, charge it, and do it the next day. When I bought my DJI Spark, I heard it had 50 minutes of flight time and I was truly impressed with this. The size of this drone is so small, the fact that they can make this thing stay in the air for 15 minutes is quite impressive. Now a lot of you are probably saying, but G Martin, this is horrible, 15 minutes isn't good at all. Well, if it's not good enough for you, just go buy another battery. That's what I did, that's what a lot of other people are going to do. It is truly worth it. I would honestly just pick up another battery when you buy the drone and that's going to ring you up another $50, but that price is perfectly fine as you double your flight time and get around 30 minutes with two batteries. Next tip we're gonna talk about is why flying off your phone is absolutely horrible. A lot of people will agree with this. There's no joysticks, you're just touching your fingers to the glass, trying to get the drone to do what you want. The range is horrible. There's not really much you can do with the camera and whatnot throughout the app. This is why when you buy the drone, just get the remote with it, get the fly more combo, It'll really save you some money in the long run also, and it is just such a good deal. You need the remote to fly this drone properly. You get the joysticks, which helps out a whole bunch. You get that gimbal control, you get all those customizable buttons, and you get sport mode. Sport mode is one of my favorite things to do when I'm bored. I'll fly it around in sport mode, I'll just whip it around, have some fun with it, maybe get some few shots. Not too complicated. Right now you can buy the drone and the remote for $400 combined, which is great. And that's going to wrap up the three reasons why people don't like this drone. Okay, now that we're done talking about why people hate on this drone, we're going to talk about some features of why beginners are really going to enjoy flying this. Reason number one is the camera abilities. Not having all that many camera abilities is actually a good thing as a beginner, which means there's not too much stuff to overwhelm you while flying this drone. There's just enough things that if you want to take the time and learn them, you can, but if you don't want to, that's perfectly fine also. Next thing is the quick shot abilities. This comes in handy a lot when you're a beginner. Say you don't know how to fly the drone to get steady shots, all you have to do is go into the quick shots, pick one, and yeah, just pretty much just do any of them and you get really nice smooth shots. And the nice part about this is they actually center on the subject. So if you set it as you, it'll rotate around you and keep you in the center of the frame, which is very nice. Last thing we're gonna talk about is the ability to launch the drone off your hand and then also land it on your hand. Because of the drone's small size, that's the only reason this is possible. It comes in handy a lot if you're in a really uneven terrain and you wanna get the drone up, but you can't find a place to launch it. Say you had a Phantom 4, this would not be possible, but since the DJI Spark is so small, all you have to do is hold the drone, click the launch button, and the drone will launch right up. This also comes in handy when you're trying to land the drone. All you have to do is put your hand below the drone, push down on the joystick, and the drone will land in your hand. Okay guys, thanks for stopping by to check out this video. Hope this really did give you some nice tips and tricks. I hope you learned something from this video. My name is G Martin. If you liked what you saw, leave a like. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you in the next video.